Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, May 25th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. Trump and DeSantis. Microsoft warns about China. The Ten Commandments not back in schools. And a paralyzed man walks again. That's all coming up. Then Bill will be here with your message of the day. But first, Ron DeSantis announcing his run for president on a Twitter live audio podcast, if you will, with Elon Musk. He said now that Twitter is in the hands of a free speech advocate, he wanted to announce in this digital town square. And he's grateful that the censorship of conservatives that happened during COVID won't happen again under Elon. And Elon said Twitter was indeed expensive, but free speech is priceless. Trump's response, look, Ron DeSantimonious came to me asking for help. He was losing badly by 31 points to the popular ag commissioner, Adam Putnam. He was getting ready to drop out of the race, ran a terrible campaign. Ron told me he had one last chance, my support and endorsement. I gave it to Ron and the race was over. In one day, he went from losing badly to winning by a lot. With three large Trump rallies, he won the general election in an upset. Disloyal. It's going to be a fun couple months. Microsoft warned the government that Chinese state-sponsored hackers have compromised critical U.S. cyber infrastructure across a number of industries. Listen, there's no question that this is the newest type of warfare, and we are woefully unprepared. If China shut off our electricity, how many days do you think until everybody loses their minds? Microsoft says the goal of the Chinese hackers were to see how long they could be inside of our systems and go undetected. And they've been undetected since the middle of 2021. A bill in Texas would have required public schools to display the Ten Commandments in every classroom. And the bill has failed. The Ten Commandments would have been needed to be placed in a conspicuous place with a size and typeface legible for a person with average vision to view anywhere in the classroom. The sponsor said it would have reminded students all across Texas of the importance of a fundamental foundation. A 40-year-old paralyzed man has walked again. 12 years ago, he was paralyzed, and now he can walk 300 feet. He has two sensors, one in his brain and the other in his spinal cord. And when he thinks about moving his legs, it sends a message to the sensor in his spinal cord, which is attached to special nerve endings that move his legs. Pretty amazing. Give that just a few more years and imagine what science could be capable of. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. The great Bill O'Reilly will be here with your message of the day next. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low cost month to month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out of pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, it is almost impossible to believe that two West Coast baseball teams will be honoring an anti-Christian hate group in June. The Los Angeles Dodgers and the LA Angels are set to bestow legitimacy on a group called the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence at their respective gay pride nights. The sisters, mainly transvestites dressed as nuns, have openly committed sacrilege against the Catholic Church by receiving communion and then defiling the wafer in front of cameras. In addition, the group put on a Jesus and Mary themed strip show that featured a performer writhing upside down on a wooden cross. 
that was followed by shirtless men competing to be crowned the hunkiest Jesus. This is the group the Dodgers and Angels, sorry for the irony, are honoring on the baseball field. If any other religion was demeaned this way, federal hate crime statutes would be employed. But in America, you can bash Christians all day long, and that is flat out wrong. The Dodgers and Angels deserve scorn. There is no excuse. This has nothing to do with gay pride or anything like that. In fact, I believe most homosexuals are appalled by this. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. So Joyce says, as respect, uh, Mr. Biden's claim that we lost Bo in Iraq, a quote, I uh, quick check finds that Bo served seven months in Iraq. He was diagnosed later with brain cancer. Maybe being in Iraq caused him to die, but no one can say for sure. But his father has a right to believe that. Joe Biden has a right to believe that Bo Biden's brain cancer, not in the family, by the way, was caused by exposure to chemicals in Iraq. And we should not question that. Steve Shire, Austin, Texas. Here is what's going on. The leader of our country and his administration get away with everything. They are corrupt. It is and now has bled into the fabric of our society and it's getting worse. In my business, people now breach agreements that are in writing and nothing happens. I agree 100 percent. The legal system here in New York has collapsed. You can have contracts, you can have whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Ultimately, after years and hundreds of thousands of dollars, you may win. But enforcement is crazy. Corruption breeds more corruption. Russell Gauthier, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, with the Department of Justice failing to investigate not only themselves, but the FBI to the Supreme Court, can the court appoint an investigator? No, Supreme Court doesn't have any power to do anything other than hear cases. So you have to file a criminal case and then it has to wind itself up through the appeals process to the court, which may or may not hear it. That's what we said about Kerry Lake. Supreme Court doesn't have any appointment power or any enforcement power. In a moment, something you might not know. Had paid for by Abadian and Totalian. COVID-19 was tough on businesses. If you experienced a negative impact to your business during the pandemic and have at least five W-2 employees, then you need to pay attention. There are some new powerful incentives that have been created specifically for businesses impacted by COVID-19. One such program is the Employee Retention Credit. Its tax incentive could bring you some serious cash back to your business. Even if you received a PPP loan in 2020 or 2021, you were still permitted to receive this credit. There are many ways to be eligible, and taking advantage of this tax credit doesn't need to be complicated. We made it easy for you by doing the legwork to maximize the amount of your refund due. Call us today at 800-862-0585 and we'll set your business up to take full advantage of the employee retention tax credit. That's 800-862-0585. Again, 800-862-0585. We'll get the ball rolling on getting you and your business some much needed relief, but time is limited to file a claim. So call 800-862-0585. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. 58 years ago today, heavyweight champ Muhammad Ali knocked out Sonny Liston in Lewiston, Maine. That rematch will go down as one of the most controversial boxing bouts in history. Here is the story. Prior to Lewiston, on February 25, 1964, a crowd of 10,000 spectators gathered at the convention hall in Miami Beach to watch then Cassius Clay take on the champion, Sonny Liston. Gamblers in Vegas had the odds of Liston winning at 10 to 1. Now, the champ, Liston, allegedly injured his shoulder early in the fight. So he abruptly quit the match after the sixth round. Ten days later, Cassius Clay, now the heavyweight champ, joined the Nation of Islam. 
changing his name to Muhammad Ali. The ensuing controversy delayed any potential rematch between Ali and Liston. Only the small town of Lewiston, Maine, agreed to sanction the fight. On May 25, 1965, the two boxers faced off again, this time in front of a tiny crowd of just 2,000 people. The fight lasted 90 seconds. A single punch knocked Sonny Liston to the floor. The photograph of Ali standing over Liston remains one of the most iconic images in sports history. There was a big problem, however. Hardly anyone saw the phantom blow that took Liston down, even after watching replay after replay. So, Americans were outraged, many believing Sonny threw the fight for a second time. And here's something else you might not know. Years later, it was revealed that the first fight in Miami was fixed. According to FBI documents, Liston met with known mobsters leading up to the fight. The scheme earned the crew, the mafia, more than $2 million because gangsters bet against Liston. As for the phantom punch in Maine, that remains a mystery, but I can tell you, after writing Killing the Mob and Killing the Legends, that Sonny Liston threw the second fight as well. Back after this. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584 for a free quote. This protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.